In 2011, Red Deer County Ag Services replaced its off-site watering demonstration unit. We had eight or nine grazing seasons of use out of the old system, and around 40 producers had got to try it out. This year, we figured it was time to take off-site watering to new heights, and we'd need new equipment to do it. The new system is run by two 12-volt batteries. These batteries are charged by both a solar panel and a windmill, or by one or the other, depending on the weather. This increased chargeability means increased flexibility for our farmers and ranchers wanting to try the system out. Another great feature with the new system is that the same pump can be used to pump water from surface water, like dugouts or rivers, and it can pump from a well. Once again, this means more options for off-site watering locations. The system is also extremely portable. To move the waterer to a new location, you just empty the trough, lower the windmill, get the wheels underneath, bring in the pump and hook up. Once you know what you're doing, I think you could be moving down the road within an hour of pulling the plug. And within the hour of your arrival at the new location, you could be pumping water again. Like I said before, we wanted to take off-site watering to new heights. Quite often, you see off-site watering systems parked pretty close to the watering source. This can create sediment and worse, manure problems for the water source. Put another way, you can create the exact problem you're trying to fix if you choose the wrong location for your off-site waterer. Our new off-site watering system can lift water up to 60 feet vertically. Generally speaking, these days, lift capability of pumps is limited only by your budget. At the same time, the horizontal distance that a system can move water is limited by the length of the water line and by the load limits of the electrical lines running to the pump. So, horizontal distance too is limited only by budget. Our new demo system is equipped to move water 200 feet horizontally. The way things turned out this year, we had the unique opportunity to show the impact that cows can have on a watering site. In a wet year like this year, it was particularly obvious. This is Tom and Jeanette Houseman's place on the North Raven River. Cattle have historically drank water directly from the river at this site. The Housemans wanted to change this, so they booked our new demo unit. When we first got the waterer, we only had 100 feet of line to work with so we had to set the system up pretty close to the river. This was on June 6th. 50 cow-calf pairs started using the system shortly after. On July 22nd, seven very rainy weeks later, we finally got in to add another 100 feet of water line and electrical line. We couldn't move the system though because it was too wet. You can see the impact that the cows had on the vegetation, both on the hill coming down to the watering system and on the floodplain around the water trough. You can imagine the impact they would have had on the riverbank had the waterer not been there. Finally, on July 28th, it dried up enough we could move the waterer up, up, and away, out of the riparian area and out of the floodplain. Now the cows didn't have to go down the slippery hill anymore, and the impact of 400 hooves around the trough is almost 200 horizontal feet away from the river. Any sediment and manure that leaves the trough area and flows downhill now can be trapped and used by the hillside vegetation long before it reaches the river. After seeing how good an off-site watering system could be by testing out the county's demonstration unit, Tom decided to purchase his own watering system. He went with a similar unit, the difference being he went with more solar panel and no windmill. Also, the Hausmans have decided to permanently fence out the riparian area through their property. The river winds through their land, which is two quarter sections of North Raven watershed. Since they decided to build the fences well away from the river banks, Tom will be able to manage the river and riparian area as a special management unit in his livestock grazing operation. Over the years, the Housemans have done a great job looking after their riparian area. You can see the results of their management when you see the diversity of plants that live there today. Riparian health assessment results are very positive. The management additions they've made with the fencing and the off-river watering system will result in even greater improvements. The North Raven River is one of the best rivers for fishing around. But please remember, the riparian area and all the land along the river here is private land. Please do not access this land or any private land without the permission of the landowner.